Why are there not more people talking about the Lumma Infostealer's comeback? This malware should have been dead in the water. Instead, it's thriving. And here's why. In May 2025, international agencies seized nearly 2,500 domains and temporarily knocked out Lumma's command and control servers. On paper, it looked like a decisive blow. But Lumma's developers had a plan. Lumma's malware cycles through multiple hard-coded encrypted command servers, so when one goes down, another takes its place, keeping the operation alive. Within days, Russian-hosted servers were back online. And according to Telegram updates, Lumma's management dashboards quickly reopened to affiliates. No major arrests were reported. Meanwhile, stolen credentials from Lumma infections spiked on Telegram bot markets, rising from under 100 to over 400 in a week. The team even hardened their systems, removing vulnerable interfaces to prevent future takedowns. Bottom line? Takedowns disrupt, but resilient malware like Lumma adapts fast, reminding us that the threat is far from over.